While the carriage set off for some destination that seemed wholly irrelevant, he visualized the pain as an amorphous entity throbbing with reds and blacks, and the medicine the doctor gave him as the fluffy white of cotton. The pain, he imagined, was concentrated in a caricature of his psyche, a small representation of self that approached the cotton wool summer clouds and climbed onto them, lying down and sinking into blissful sleep. At the same time as the figment of his imagination drifted to sleep the pain, anchored to the figment, was swept away into a dreamland of health and wholesomeness. As he watched the figment sleeping, the occasional tentacle of pain would ripple under the surface of the cotton wool bed, but it remained muted by the medicine and by Eduardo's control over pain as taught in that long-ago symposium. As he focused on the imagery, painting as many intricate details as possible, he could feel the tension melting out of his shoulders, 